But before we get to the history of the grape strikes, let's talk about Kern County today. This region is full of diversity. The Hispanic and Latinx community make up a great portion of that diversity. Let's begin by taking a look at how much they are a part of the Kern population. According to the U.S. Census Bureau, the Hispanic population is steadily growing and expanding. Since the last census in 2010, there has been a 20.9% increase in the community, which is equal to a growth of about 86,125 people who identify as Hispanic or Latino. The Hispanic Latinx community makes up over half of Kern County's population at 54.9%, which equates to about 499,158 residents. And most of that growth in the community's population can all be tied back to its history here in Kern County. 23 ABC's Veronica Morley has more on the fight for labor rights that made Kern County and the Hispanic community known nationwide. Well, Kern County's Hispanic heritage roots go back centuries. But the story that's most well known, the story known across the nation, is that of the farm workers movement. A movement that started in Delano and made its way across states, thanks to the work of activists like Cesar Chavez and Dolores Huerta. Throughout the country, the legacy of the farm labor movement is felt to this day. A story sown in the fields of Delano, where in 1965, Chavez rallied farm workers and Americans to boycott the treatment of grape pickers. And he said, you know, uh, I'm motivated not by any fancy or highfalutin ideology. He says, I'm angry. I'm, I'm, I'm angry that my mother had to have that conversation with me where she asked me to drop out of school to help feed her brothers and sisters. He says, you know, I'm, I'm determined that no other mother has to have that conversation with their child and he says and that's what motivates me so it was very personal to him after five years their efforts paid off in 1970 delano farm workers won a contract promising better pay and benefits a move that eventually led to the passage of the california agricultural labor relations act alongside chavez throughout his fight were immigrants and activists like filipino american larry Antleong and fellow organizer dolores huerta uh, the united farm workers union of course uh, we had a lot of young people when that was being formed we had many and it's interesting because the united farm workers union not only influenced what was happening here in the central valley but it influenced what was happening in Los Angeles. It influenced what was happening in Texas and in Arizona because many, many young people from the colleges came here and that kind of inspired uh, them to do the walkouts. Huerta began community service in the 50s, lobbying for changes in California for Latinos. It was through that early activism work she met Cesar Chavez. Huerta's tenacity helped Chavez establish the National Farm Workers Association, now known as the United Farm Workers Union. And, and throughout the Southwest, the United Farm Workers had a huge, huge influence because the United Farm Workers was not just a labor union, it was a, a civil rights movement because we were fighting uh, against discrimination and the way that that uh, not only farmers but the way latinos were being treated their perseverance an act built from strength and desire a desire to better the lives of those in their community and their strength leaving behind a legacy that lives on to this day through foundations created to continue their work schools and streets named after them and monuments erected to honor them of course their greatest legacy is the inspiration that others draw from them when my dad and dolores started they were young people right and they had this audacity to believe that they could make a difference even though for a hundred years before them every attempt to organize farm workers had been brutally crushed but you know but that's the um that's the power of, of, of uh, youthful uh, optimism. You believe that you can make a difference. And so and I say this to people all the time. You want to leave your children a heritage of justice. OK, forget about leaving them property or jewels or money because they'll fight over it. But if you leave them a legacy of justice, they will continue to do the work that needs to be done to serve our communities. Their work continues. In recent years, the Cesar Chavez Foundation has worked to better housing and improve education in lower income areas, while Dolores Huerta and her foundation are still fighting for change in Kern County. The foundation filing a lawsuit to change Kern's Latino majority voting districts and changing school discipline policies they claim discriminated towards black and Latino students.
Now, while their names continue to be honored today and their children continue their passion for helping others, the real legacy left behind by those leaders in the farm workers movement is the lessons to future generations about standing up for what you believe in. For 23ABC News, I'm Veronica Morley, connecting you.